Islam. Islam established itself very quickly and influenced many other civilizations. Within 150 years, it had grown into a huge empire guided by religious principles. The Prophet Muhammad, who founded an empire called, or founded the religion called Islam, was born in Mecca in 570. At the time, the Arab peoples worshipped many different gods. Muhammad became a successful, widely traveled trader and was influenced by the Judeo-Christian belief in just one God. When he was 40 years old, his life changed. He saw the Archangel Gabriel in a series of visions. Muhammad then wrote down the Quran, the Muslim holy text, under the dictation from Gabriel. He was instructed to teach about prayer, purification, and halah, which is essentially just the Arabic word for God, the one God. The word Islam means surrender to Allah. When Muhammad started teaching, the rulers of Mecca felt threatened by his ideas. Muhammad and his followers had to flee to Medina in 622, and the Muslim calendar counts its dates from this flight, the Hijra, or sorry, the Hijra. In Medina, Muhammad organized a Muslim society building a mosque. His following grew quickly. Many Arabs were poor, and Islam preached a fair society. In 630, Muhammad captured Mecca and became its ruler. He kept non-believers out and banished idol worship, and he died in 632. So, Islamic expansion. The new Muslim caliph, which is their word for leader, called for a jihad, which is a holy war. Uh, I probably should make a side note, it's a known historically to be a defensive war in which Muslim lands are usually recaptured when they have been taken over by another religion. Just, uh, it's actually like the, the Arabic word for struggle. And a lot of Muslims today use jihad as a term for an internal struggle to, you know, uh, to keep a, a nice and uh, virtuous life. Uh, it's very important to know because that word has become politically bastardized over the last decade or so. Okay, so where was I? Yes. Within 10 years, under Caliph Umar, the Arabs conquered Syria and Palestine, defeating the Byz Byzantines, Mesopotamia and Persia, bringing down the Sassanids, as well as Egypt and Libya. After the death of Caliph Uthman, there were disputes between a successor, Muawiyah and Ali, Muhammad's son-in-law. Ali's murder in 661 led Muslims to spread uh, permanently into two factions, the Sunnis and the Shiites, who were followers of Ali. The Umayyad dynasty. In 661, the Arabs established the capital of Damascus, and Muayyah became the first Umayyad caliph. Territorial expansion followed. Muslim armies invaded Central Asia, Afghanistan, Armenia, Northern Africa, and even Spain. They twice attacked Constantinople without success. When they invaded Europe, they were defeated by the Franks in France in 732 at the Battle of Tours and had to retreat. The Umayyads organized their empire in the Byzantine style. They were tolerant and did not force conversion to Islam. Many people converted because Muslims were seen as genuine liberators, bringing an end to an old order, establishing clear laws, and increasing trade. doesn't hurt that there was also an extra tax for people who were not Muslims. Arabic became the universal language across the Islamic Empire, except in Persia, which was mainly Shiite and retained its distinct culture. This common language helped ideas and knowledge to spread quickly from one place to another.